Hey everyone, welcome to another week of reviews with Vito from Cast Strength. And as you can clearly tell, it's Italy week. Forza Italia. And let's get to this. So what we have today is the Puni Alba, which uh, from the Puni distillery uh, from Italy, Italy's first whiskey distillery. Um, it is located in the North Alps, uh, just just south of the border um, where Austria and Switzerland meet. So very, very uh, close to the border there. Um, the climate there is um, as close as close to a difference in temperature um, seasonally and um, day to night. Um, as Italy can probably get to Scotland. So there's a really good um, influence on um, the barrel and uh, the wood pulling uh, the spirit in and out of it um, fairly rapidly. Uh, but not as rapidly as um, you'd find in the States, but um, you know, I, I'm in between so that you get a good amount of um, longevity in the barrel without it becoming too barrel heavy. So the distillery is fairly new um, so a lot of their spirits are fairly young and they they um, they come across a touch young but um, every distillery new, new distillery has to start somewhere and um, if these couple of expressions that I've tried from them are any indication I'm uh, I'm really excited and everyone else should be really excited to see what comes out of the distillery so a quick thing on the names, uh, Puni is apparently Gaelic for Scotland and that's what they named the distillery uh, after and Alba, the name of this expression that we're tasting today, is uh, Italian for dawn, which is kind of interesting, right, because new distillery, um, Scottish, um, Scottish style. Um, distilling and maturation happening um, early morning a lot of imagery there it's really kind of interesting that they uh, chose to go that route um, and it sounds a little funny puny and all that but uh, um, there's a lot of there's a nice little meaning behind behind it um, so the, the expression itself is um, is a blend of malted barley rye and wheat and um, it is aged uh, three years exclusively in Sicilian Marsala wine casks, which is um, an Italian fortified wine out of Sicily. Um, and then they don't, it's, I couldn't find anything giving an exact or even a rough um, sort of timeline of what it, uh, of the final finishing, but it is finished in X. Uh, Isla barrels that um, contained uh, Isla whiskey for between 10 and 24 years apparently. The finishing period I saw as, as low as three to four weeks, as high as a month or two. So um, if we just say maybe three to six weeks, even maybe just, yeah, three to, three to five weeks maybe on average of a, of a finishing period. Um, personally, I probably would have liked a little bit more, a little bit longer in the Isla barrels, just kind of for my own preferences to even it out a little bit, um, because it is very heavy on the Marsala, very sweet. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And like I said, subjectively, for my own taste, I, I'd like a little bit more, a little bit more um, of that uh, smoky influence of the barrels to kind of come through a little bit, a little bit more to even it out. But you know that's a, that's a nitpicky thing. Um, it's bottled at forty three percent, and it is non chill filtered and non colored, which uh, you know a lot of people have a have a thing for. Um, the the non chilling I can get behind. I, I prefer non chilled whiskey, but the coloring eh, I, I don't really find a huge huge um, a huge issue with that. But I'd appreciate it if there is no coloring, obviously. But if I see coloring, it's not going to deter me either way. 
let's get to the to the tasting. So on the nose, salty and sweet uh, right away. The marsala the marsala, marsala influence is um, immediate. Um, figs and honey. Rye spice, cloves, very herbaceous, sort of like a herb garden. Basil and thyme, sage. A little bit of barbecue sauce. Almost like a um, a vinegary, more vinegary based barbecue sauce, but with a little bit of smoky depth. And that's definitely from the that smokiness. And it's not peated, right? So let's remember that. It's not a peated whiskey. It was just finished in barrels that had peated whiskey in it, right? So any kind of smoke or anything that you get from, from this is straight for, just from the barrel influence. And that's one thing. It's like, if you want a whiskey that really showcases um, a barrel influence, um, it would be it would be this this expression with the Marsala casks and the Isla Isla casks. You get a, a strong bit of both, and yeah, it, just, it showcases the experiments um, that that uh, the guys at Puni are are um, are willing to to try out. It's that Italian mentality, man. If it hasn't been done, we'll we'll do it and do it uh, do it as best we can. And if it's been done, we're gonna do it a little bit better. Just joking. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. All right. Man, like I said before, I kind of I I love Marsala wine. Being Italian, you know, it is. It's just kind of built into us, but this is where I really wish that the Isla casks had been uh, used a little bit longer. Because right away, as soon as you as soon as you put it on your on on your palate, you get Marsala. Like it's just deep and sweet, fresh garden fruits and vegetables, tomato vine. If you ever pull tomatoes off of the vine and a, a, like a vine breaks and it snaps and it's, you know, tomato vines are fairly tough. So when you when it snaps, you get a, 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 a strong smell from it. A lot of rosemary, which wasn't on, which wasn't on the, on the nose, but it comes through that herb comes through on the, on the palate. The nose is just great. And come carrying through and salty and sweet characteristic. Underlying smoke, right, just from that barrel. It's a medium ashy finish, which is interesting. More so just because of the ashiness, right? Um, it's it's amazing just the influence that 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 that, that barrel had to kind of just impart just an underlying. Isla characteristic to to this whiskey, and the sweetness carries through from the Marsala, right? Super prominent throughout every aspect of the of the taste, and then at the very end, dried barley, right? Dried, a dry cerealness. It really is a really great whiskey. Um, yeah, it's just it's really really good um, for what it is, right? Now, like I said, a little bit longer of a period of maturation of, of finishing in the Isla cast for me would have been better, and I'm just really excited. Um, as far as I'm aware, I don't believe this is part of the core line, but if it happens to continue to be part of the core line, I really um, I'm curious to see if they carry um, they carry it through and and experiment with longer maturation and um, um, and a fuller exploration uh, of this. I have another um, expression from Puni that I'll be reviewing as well, um, called the Nova. That should be coming out, um, you know, soon. Um, 
but um, yeah, no, it's um, it's exciting, it's exciting. Also, I forgot to mention, um, they are distilling with um, Scottish pot stills. Um, traditional pot, Scottish pot stills. Um, so they're 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 going they're they're going at this um, with a very clear idea of what they want and how they and how they want to uh, build it. Also, I didn't even talk about the distillery itself. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna throw up a couple of pictures now um, and really showcase just um, the beauty of it. like it's just so modern and uh, beautiful to look at. It's it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, but it's an absolute wonder to look at. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave it at, at that for today. Um, score, um, I'm gonna give some. Um, I'm gonna give some, uh, a, a a low three, um, just because if you don't like Marsala, you're probably not gonna like it. Um, but uh, for those that do, uh, this is probably um, probably good to have, just as 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 one of those whiskeys that uh, you want to like surprise some people. Especially the Italians, or just you know uh, some of uh, the Mediterranean uh, people in your lives. Um, they pro they definitely really appreciate uh, appreciate this. I'm also going to uh, link up um, another review by um, by another tr uh, Italian Torontonian, Rob from Whiskey in the Six, um, and uh, you guys can take a look at his video and see how our notes compare and uh, see uh, see if it's something that interests you. Um, and yeah, so. I think we'll leave it at that for today. As always, um, I'd like uh, I'd like you guys to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are liking about this. Um, give me your feedback, and um, yeah, we'll keep this going. So, um, as for today, I'm gonna go finish off this Italian malt, and we'll see you guys next time. Sancho.